वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सिंपल पार्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ सॉलिड वर्क शीट मेटल पार्ट एंड हियर वी विल कैलकुलेट हाउ टू मेक दिस फ्लैटन फॉर्म ऑफ दिस हुपर आई होप यू लाइक इट सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू मेक दिस वन एंड लेटर वी विल सेव इन डी एक्स एफ डी एक्स एफ फॉर्म सो लेट स्टार्ट टू क्रिएट दिस होपर विद द हेल्प ऑफ शीट मेटल कमांड Let's start to create some simple model in SolidWorks with the help of sheet metal tool. So let me choose here top plane, a sketch, and here we will draw a rectangle. So choose here center rectangle and draw a rectangle. Right click, select. Now choose dimension 250 mm and respectively 150 mm. Okay let me choose here right fillet keep 10 mm and select the full rectangle now see it will automatically select all the corners choose okay i want to make one gap for any sheet metal part you need to create a, a small gap then only you can ex extrude your sheet metal parts i'll choose here circle and i'll find here center point this is the center point Now select this circle and choose for construction purpose. Okay, and let's define. Keep diameter four millimeter or anything is up to you. Trim entity. Choose here power trim and trim inside lines. Okay. Fully defined sketch. Calculate. Okay. Now this is fully defined sketch. See, exit. Now we will make the next end of this part. So we, we need to create a plane. So let me choose top plane. Plane here. Drop down this reference geometry menu, and you will find a plane. And uh, we will make the 200 millimeter the gap. See. Okay. Now let me select this plane. Sketch. Take the position normal, and again I'll draw one center rectangle. Exit. Now let me choose both the vertical and horizontal line and create relation equal. Okay. A smart dimension, and I'll choose here hundred millimeter. Fill it. and i'll choose 47 mm and let me select all select yes 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 see the all things are selected okay okay now here we want to cut but before going to cut we need to create one reference line so let me choose again center rectangle draw one rectangle up to this point the same as what we draw the before but make this one for construction purpose see select here for construction line okay now look at this select this one delete it or trim it it's up to you choose your line and extend is now select both the lines and make relation equal now here select this line uh, arc and this construction line and make relation tangent now the same thing we need to do with this one tangent this line with this arc tangent now this is your what exactly we want to draw only that balancing let's define the gap 4 mm now the drawing is fully defined simply exit now hide this plane now it's time to draw go to sheet metal or right click on command manager and choose here sheet metal now here we will learn about something lufted band once you select lufted band 
uh, we want to form a particular item so here keep continue formed and let me choose profile so I'll select one end of this profile and the second end now see you can see the preview here very clearly thickness we will keep one millimeter and number of band line two see this there are two number of band lines okay now this is the our sheet metal part if you want to open it just click flatten and it will open now see now this parts is ready for the CNC work or for cutting purpose you can put it take this save as a DXF file and you can use it now here let's add some more things age flange let's draw this two side now here you will observe this is not 90 degree see uh, we want to make it flat so how we will do this one exit choose top plane a sketch take the normal draw one circle go to surface and select here planar surface this is a go going to create a simple plane for the reference purpose okay later we will hide it now try go to sheet metal and choose flange aged just drag okay this is and this side we can't select this side why look look the angle angle is totally different than this angle because this face have more tap tapered so I'll delete this one we will do in a second attempt now see now see it's little taper so here in angle section see select face see it's parallel now you can see it's parallel to this plane that's it 25 millimeter and we will keep bending outside okay now the same thing we will repeat for these two ends I'll choose this material and I'll make the this is the our color okay flash edge now you can see go to angle radius you can change according to your requirement let me choose 2 millimeter and select angle now see I'll choose this plane now see how the angle become is straight or parallel to this plane and the thickness width is uh, 25 millimeter bending we will keep outside okay so this is the simple tutorial how to uh, make any sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS now see if you want to ch select flatten you will get this flatten option see even you can hide this one right click export to dxf file save part 1 select sheet metal ok now once you select ok it will show you it a 2d drawing a 2d file for this one 
my computer is going to slow that's why it's, ah that's it now see this is the 2d file for this drawing and you can directly use this file in for the cam purpose in any machine especially this kind of parts going to cut in cnc turret machine just save it that's it now your file is saved so i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video if you have any comment just write down below we will try to answer each and every question thanks for watching